Hi friends, welcome to Model Ideas YouTube channel. I have created this Model Ideas YouTube channel to guide you to motivate you towards different government jobs and as well as for a different courses and the information of the different courses and and as well as the government jobs of central and state government. Okay, my dear friends, today I am going to explain in this video that how to apply for Central University Hyderabad Central University. Then how will you apply? Now, my dear friends, all of you are taking rest at your house. Uh, due to that uh, corona effect so that there are no internet caps or something else so that's why so i am going to explain this video that how will you apply then you can apply with your personal laptop or anything else just you have to come to that university of hyderabad website and here you can see admission admissions 2020 and 21 just you can click on here and then you will get here is that then you can see eligibility how to apply the last date and the starting date is at april 3rd and the last date is that uh, uh, 3rd may and then here general students they need to pay 600 rupees and uh, economically weaker section 550 bc candidates 400 and scst and physically handicapped students they need to pay 275 rupees okay just you can see all these things and then come to that online application then click here so as soon as you click here then you will get information like here that so read all that uh, prospectus and eligibility criteria and everything else okay and then after uh, you will have your photo and your signature with you and now start a new application just you can click here then the new application will come here like this here okay then I want to explain just you can see everything else and first name on your SSC memo okay uh, whether you may start with your uh, uh, what is that uh, surname before or after so based on your SSC memo you can write it that okay next is session now this is admission session what is the admission session now is that okay june or july okay you can whether you can write here when you click here is that automatically the july uh, will be appeared okay next choice of the exam centers then which center do you like then you can write here is that okay next select center so Hyderabad, then how many centers are there? And means preparation. Our uh, first preparation in Hyderabad, second preparation, third preparation like this. Okay. And next course apply fund. Then which course do you want to apply? Whether it's for integrated or PG, means MSc or MA or MPhil or PhD, whatever you like. Then you need to give the details here. And what is your subject? Then you must have to write the details here. That okay. And next. So if you complete this subject, then what are the other subjects that you have? Then you need to write uh, all of those things. Choices 1 and 2 and 3 are like this. Okay. Next, if you have any doubt, just you can click here eligibility, then you can show your complete eligibility. Next, you need to type your date of birth as for uh, of your SEC memo. And next, gender, male or female. And next, nationality, Indian. Next, state of domicile. So here there's nothing but what is your own state, whether you are from Telangana or some other states. Then you can write here. Okay. Category. So category, what is your category? BCA, BCB, SC, ST and whatever you like, okay? Then whether you have physically challenged or not, then you must give the details here, then, okay? Uh, what's of different person? For example, if you are a student of, uh, what is that, uh, defense personnel, means if your father worked in that defense, means army or navy or air force, then you must give that yes. Otherwise, if your father did not work in a, any Indian forces, then you can give that no. Then, physically handicapped students, they must give that their disability, whether it is that uh, uh, maybe eyes or hands or legs or whatever. Okay. Next, qualifying degree or whether you are completed, whether you have completed or passing, then you must have to uh, give the details here. That, okay. And next, portion of the qualifying is completed or not. So here, passed or studying. Okay. And then after, uh, subjects, what are the subjects that you have studied here? For example, if you are from MPC. Then you can type mass physics and chemistry like this or a BGC, botany, geology, chemistry or computer. Then you must give at least two or three four subjects here. Then. Okay, percentage. So here you you need not feel that percentage. If you if you are not if you are appearing for that third year exams, then you did not write your percentage. So that you can give approximate percentage of your second year. That is enough. Okay. Next your mail ID and as well as uh, your mobile number. Okay. And uh, don't give any kind of uh, uh, illegal or false information in this. Okay. And uh, here you can choose a file photo, means your photo, JPEG format, almost all. 
the highest size to 50 KB and then after your signature 20 KB okay and uh, both of that you can complete and cash certificate so here before you apply for it then you must have to upload your cash certificate that is very important so you must have to take a scan of your uh, cash certificate signature and photo okay then you need to complete your submit course that if you are applying for MSc Fires Integrated Course or MA Fires Integrated Course or MFA Failing Fires Integrated Course or something else then just you must have to see that uh, Fires Integrated Course for Mathematical Science MA you, this is a code that you must have to type MA or MSc Fires Physics then PY or Chemistry or System Biology these are the things okay next five years economics five years history five years political science five years sociology and anthropology for this is the thing okay next mfa next painting if you like painting pt or printing market like this sir, and sculpture okay then session almost right is july already we discussed with that okay i have explained everything in the clear next you need to come to that family details then father's name father's occupation and annual income of your father approximately you must have to give all these details and mother or guardian whatever you think okay and next any emergency phone number or like this here okay next to native place mandal and near railway station so this is the central university that's what it can ask you complete details of this and other universities of like Usmania and Kakatiya and remaining all universities they don't ask such type of information but this is the central university then after you complete your submit then uh, you come to that another page here academic record just you can see that 10th class so which you know which board or which you for example SSC board of Telangana or Andhra Pradesh okay then subject studied what are the subject that you have next year of passing okay maximum marks next year obtained mark for example maximum marks are 600 in our uh, AP and Telangana and next obtained marks for example 540 okay next percentage next which district that you have completed okay next year intermediate then board of intermediate education whether you are from uh, maybe by pc or mpc CEC or something else okay you are passing and then after you can give the complete details as like it is next to graduation okay details of the graduation or otherwise if some people they may come from that uh, a diploma then you must have to give the details of particular diploma then after your degree or everything else okay then those who are applying for that uh, mphil and phd you must have to give the details of your pg okay then you complete your submit and then you come to that another page where that here your blood group okay then marital status whether you are married or unmarried you must have to give the details here okay and uh, do you need an hostel free hostel so Hyderabad Central University provides a free hostel with food and bed and uh, do you need yes and then after do you belong to Kashmir migrant if you are then otherwise you can say that are you a single girl child in your family means only one girl if you are a girl student and if you are the only one girl whether you can give that yes or no then these are some questions that uh, uh, you can give the details here that for example uh, where are you in receipt of any scholarship any other uh, financial support during your previous studies maybe if you are uh, scholar if you have taken any scholarship from your degree or anything else then you must have the details of like this here and uh, then after I will explain clearly uh, was any a uh, disciplinary action taken against you for example when you are studying in your degree so either if you have any kind of indiscipline actions from your college management so you must have to give, give the details up. okay next uh, uh, were you ever convicted by a court law for example if you have any kind of uh, criminal cases uh, on you in the court then you must give that details of it whether you can give that no 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 like this okay reasons so what is the reason for example if you have taken gap for example you completed your degree uh, in the year of the 2017 and you are now applying then it is a three years gap for you now here you must have to give the details of what is the reason for your gap okay you must give here okay? any other relevant information you can do that okay next do you belong to lbc means uh, list of backward classes yes or no what is it? That, that is you can mention whether you are backward classes or not okay means bc then you must give it yes okay do you belong to the a minority community they can give that minority yes okay now here is that for example uh, do you belong to that uh, 
a list of the BC candidates. For example, BC B candidate from Telangana or Andhra Pradesh. They can select here. Yes. Next, mention your group. So what is that BC B like this? Okay. Then you can submit this. And another that you will go for another thing. What is that here? You must have to give to your permanent address or temporary address. Then you can give all of your address without any kind of mistakes, and there is no chance to. Uh, edit your address okay pin code and everything else then you can submit and then you come to that your application number and everything else okay then you need to choose to pay uh, your online gateway okay just you can select one of them and you can pay your fee so friends this is all about your uh, hyderabad central university how can you apply to that hyderabad central university i have made this video that you apply very freely after the Hyderabad Central University, and I hope you all of you understand very well that uh, I given com I have given completely details here. And friends, and don't forget to subscribe my channel, and uh, don't forget to watch remaining videos regarding to that Hyderabad Central University Maths, Physics, and Chemistry model papers. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day.